Harnessing even a millionth of the sun's energy would make every human a billionaire in purchasing power. Any serious progress toward a Kardashev Type II civilization doesn't just grow the economy, it creates value that's many orders of magnitude larger than everything we have today. The question is, what kind of compute do we need to get there? That's where the Lania Kia QPU comes in. In less than three years, satellites equipped with localized QPU compute, running the hard workloads in orbit and sending only the results back to Earth, will be the lowest cost way to generate QPU bit streams. Electrical power is already becoming the bottleneck on Earth. In space, sunlight is free, continuous, and everywhere. At just one megaton per year of satellites, with 100 kilowatts per satellite, we can add around 100 gigawatts of QPU capacity every year with no operating or maintenance cost, linked back to Earth through high bandwidth laser links into the Starlink constellation. The next step is even bigger. We build satellite factories on the moon and use a mass driver, an electromagnetic railgun, to launch QPU satellites straight from the lunar surface into space. No rocket, no fuel, just physics. That architecture scales to over 100 terawatts per year of new QPU capacity. At that point, we're not just talking about better apps or faster models. We're talking about non-trivial progress toward a Kardashev II civilization. Lania Kia QPU is not just about smarter computation. It's the computational backbone of a species that's finally serious about leaving Earth, building in space, and tapping into the power of a star.